So there it is, I finished the uh, wine storage cabinet portion of my pantry. Ba -dum -bum. So I'm going to show you the work that I did to get to this point this week. If you recall, we left off with just the lower cabinet. I built the upper cabinet the same way as I built the lower cabinet. Butt joints, glue, nails, and fasteners. Um, I used corner clamps to make sure that everything was square as I screwed it together. And then I added two cleats, one across the bottom front so that I could attach that upper cabinet to the lower cabinet, and one cleat across the back at the top that I would use to secure the cabinet unit to the wall. Everything was sanded and filled before I primed and painted it and I did sand in between my coats of primer and paint. I love this attachment from Rockwood called a square check. It goes onto your tape measure and helps squaring up your cabinets a lot easier. And I always square up my cabinet before I attach the back. The back keeps the cabinet square. I'm just nailing this one in place and now it's time to carry the sucker upstairs and get it in place. I recruited my daughter Madison to help me with this task. An extra pair of hands and some extra muscle comes in very handy, especially towards the end of the day when you're getting tired. Thank you. Looks nice. Now it's time to attach these two cabinet portions together. First, I lined everything up, making sure the fronts were flush. Then I used three screws okay. to drive down through the cleat into the bottom cabinet to secure the two together. I want to make sure my cabinet is level and plumb before I attach it to the wall. But before I can do that, I had to block it out with some 2 by material to bump it out so that I could scoot it over a little bit on that angled wall because I want to leave some room to the left of the face frame for a wall treatment that I'm doing later. Yeah, I scratched up my countertop, but I'll fix it later. I prepped my face frame stock by running wide pieces of poplar through my thickness planer. I like to make sure all of the material is the same thickness before I rip it down to size. It's easier to run wider pieces through the planer than a bunch of little sticks. I planed and ripped a whole bunch of 1x2 face frame material, then I ran it all through the drum sander. I ran it through in both directions on the face and the edges to remove any saw marks. I'm attaching this face frame piece by piece in place. I'm using a combination square to ensure that I have the same overlay on each inside edge. I'm using glue and an 18 gauge nail gun to attach the face frame. The glue is what does the job. The nails just hold the face frame in place while the glue dries. The trick is keeping the glue from dripping all over the place until you get the pieces of face frame in place. I find that spreading it with your finger or a silicone spreader does wonders for smearing it onto the cabinet so it doesn't drip. I measure and cut each rail individually and then install it. I use a block of wood and a hammer to shimmy it up into place. I want to make sure that it's level and flush with the shelf on the top edge. Uh, this wider rail is for a ladder in my future. I sanded the entire face frame. I wanted to make sure that the joints were all level and flush and that the face frame was smooth. Then I used my favorite wood patch and filled all the nail holes and went over the uh, joints. This is probably the most important step in the whole process. This part right here where you're sanding, filling holes, taking care of any imperfection and blemish that the paint is going to just augment. Paint it and it's going to just slap you in the face. There's a nail hole. So even though I only see a little pinhole, I know that as soon as I prime, I'm going to see it. Sometimes I hope, ah, oh, the primer will fill it, but it doesn't, so just take the time, put some more patch on there, and wait again. And then sand again. Cause my technique, la 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 la. Then it's time to prime, 
And of course, while we prime, we must sing. That's just how it goes. So now that it's primed, it's just lightly raised the grain. So I'm gonna, this is a super old sanding block and I'm just knocking it down. And it literally only takes that much effort. Prime sand paint and then remove the painter's tape from the countertop and this baby is done. Now we can put some wine glasses away. shelf is level. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'll see you back here next time with my progress on the pantry. See you then.